Have you ever just looked at one of these and thought, you know, I feel like I could take that? Well, so have I. So let's take a look at some of the hostile mobs in Minecraft and see if an average Steve could defeat these people in real life. Now, Minecraft Steve is a whopping six foot one of actual cinder block muscles. Here are the calculations. Somehow he uh, turns out to be six foot one, which I mean explains why he can just so easily just you know hack and slash through all of these like random skeletons and creepers and zombies. But like, can a regular, regular Steve do this? Our subject of this video is going to be an average five foot ten, one hundred and eighty pound American man. So. Let's see if you can survive the gauntlet, shall we? Okay, so starting off with like the shortest of the group, it's gonna be the spider. Now, according to the calculations, the spider is gonna come in about like two foot nine inches, and yes, like this, but like bigger. With that being said though, I feel like I could easily take on a two foot nine inch spider. I would be scared to hell, but I could definitely take it on. Like, just give me one of these, and I can just start hacking at that spider, and I can guarantee you, I will win. So, I mean, like, the survivability here, it's like an 8.5 out of 10. Like, it's dangerous, but it's not that dangerous. Like, let's be honest here. Alrighty, so our average Steve is walking along a hallway, and then he turns the corner, and a 6-foot rotting mountain of muscle comes around the corner. Could our average Steve deal with this? I feel like... If we give, okay, let's say we're giving everybody a sword, because, you know, I feel like it's the, it's the bare minimum we can do for these people. So, the zombie is definitely going to be bigger than him, height-wise and muscle-wise, but I also feel like the Minecraft zombies, they tend to give off, like, the Walking Dead vibe, which, yes, <laughs> it is dangerous, but I feel like, this might be my hubris speaking here, I could 100% survive the Walking Dead zombies, okay? What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Look, they're not that bad. Michonne could do it. And it's not like we're dealing with like I am legend runners here, okay? Like you could easily hack up like three zombies. They, they spawn in like three or four, so it's like, it's very doable. Now survivability, I'm gonna say like a seven out of 10 because there is the slight chance you're gonna get cornered and then you're done. All right, now the skeleton. Like we got a ranged attacker. He's fast AF because there's nothing holding him down. He's all bones. And you're going to be fighting him at night. So you can't even see when he's going to be plonking arrows at you, okay? You're just going to have to assume. Now that I think about it, we're doomed, honestly. I'm supposed to run at him and dodge arrows until I get close enough to, like, actually do something? Definitely not. I mean, like, don't get me wrong. The skeletons are, like, most definitely weak. But either way, survivability is, like, a 3.5 out of 10 depending on how much cover you have obviously <laughs> the creeper the most iconic mob in minecraft coming in at a whopping five foot two of pure malice hatred and self-destructive tendencies now i feel like minecraft kind of makes it seem like you could just eat a, a creeper explosion and just like walk off casually like nothing happened like let's not forget in real life like a concussive blast is gonna royally f you up like you're you're done and not to mention, they don't despawn in the sun, so this is like actual nightmare fuel. And it also doesn't help that you have to get close enough to them to set them off, and if you get caught while you're running away, you're, you're retired. You're forced to retire at that point. You're not just walking away from a concussive blast. Now, survivability, I'm gonna give it like a 6.5 out of 10, because you might survive if you do like what you do in Minecraft and just run away. But the pain level is a solid 9.5 out of 10. It's 100% gonna hurt you. Alrighty, now the slime. I've been like thinking about how I could justify anybody surviving against the 6 foot 2 wall of goop that just comes flying at you. And honestly, like there's no possible way of beating it. Like it's too big to even cut. Like there's no way to effectively even defend yourself with a sword. And it jumps like 10 feet high. And if it grabs a hold of you with its slime, it's not letting you go whatsoever. Like the only sane thing that you could possibly try doing is setting it on fire. But how much fire can you harness? <laughs> the thing is massive. I'd say the survivability is probably like a 1 out of 10. They're pretty slow. Okay, now we're getting into like the illager category. So I'm gonna run through these really quickly. 
let's start with the Vindicator. So these are like the axe wielding madmen that just come flying at you. Hash slinging slasher. Like realistically, what are you gonna do? The average person does not know how to use a sword. This is just given to him as like hopes that he could do something with it. And you're telling me I have to fight a man who is like actually crazy and he wants to game end me? Not to mention, unlike the rest of the mobs, this one has a similar level of intellect as you do. So if you ask me, like if I was in this situation, like I'm dead, like I'm gone, deceased. Like I'm on a t-shirt at this point, like cut down in the prime of my life. Uh, survivability, like <laughs> a three out of 10. Like, I don't know if you're gonna fight this crazy madman, but I'm definitely not. Alrighty, the pillagers. So basically everything I said about the Vindicator, uh, but worse. <laughs> but wait, there's more. Instead of like a short range madman coming at you, it's a long range madman torturing you. <laughs> like, how am I supposed to live my best life with this dude just pelting arrows at me nonstop while I'm just trying to take a shit? Uh, survivability, same thing, like 3 out of 10. I wouldn't even go outside if he was after me. No. I'm just staying inside chilling. It's 100%. 100% death. The evoker. Now, I'm not gonna lie. This is a death sentence. Through and through. There's no shot. With that being said, though, can we just talk about this? You know this dude is a certified nerd. Look at this movement. But, like, how was anybody supposed to survive this nerdy-ass spinny man when he could just spawn in a bunch of ghosts with swords that fly at you? Like, there is no conceptual way of fighting this or surviving this. Like, you want me to just fight off a never-ending wave of, like, ghosts with swords that fly until I inch my way closer to him so I could beat him up and take away his lunch money? Like, no, it's, it's not gonna happen. Uh, survivability, like a 1.5 out of 10, unless you're, like, Tanjiro. <laughs> now, I don't know if it's just me, but I feel like the witch is more of, like, like a torturer or like a trickster kind of a person. I can't really see her just coming for your head right away like the illagers do. Like she throws like weakness potions, slowing potions, and like poison at you. Which, <laughs> I mean, is gonna suck. But the plus side is she doesn't know how to fight. So you get close enough, she, she doesn't have any hands. So I mean, if you're willing to eat just a little bit of poison, she's not that threatening. Survivability, in my opinion, is like a seven out of 10. Just take some Tums afterwards, you'll be fine. If anybody in the comments says that they could effectively defeat a Ravager, you're Delulu. You con you're completely delusional, okay? This is a 6 foot 8 armored war beast with horns that when it charges at you, it breaks everything that's in front of it. I don't need to say anything. Because th this is like a 0.5% chance of surviving. And that's only if you're All Might. Drowned. Okay. Now for how scary these guys sound, I feel like they're not that dangerous. Hear me out though. Like if you're in the water with them, then yeah, definitely they're dangerous. But the issue is they can't get out of the water. So what's stopping you from just staring at like the edge of the water and just being like... <coughs> you could just like sit there and just start racking up like drowned heads. It's not... It's not that hard, guys. Come on. Survivability, like a 7.5 out of 10. Unless you're... Until... Until you're just chilling there, and then out of nowhere, a trident just come and like caves your face in. So, <laughs> seven out of ten for now. And there you go. Those were my list. Uh, do you think you could survive any of these? Me personally, I don't think I could survive any. But let me know in the comments. All right. See y'all later.